The envelope detector is our basis for what we call non-coherent detection, and it's a simpler technique. Let's begin by considering a typical amplitude shift keyed signal, or ASK, ASK signal. We have either the signal looking like zero, or we allow the carrier sinusoid to get through, or zero, or carrier comes through. So. Uh, amplitude shift keying is a pretty simple type of signal to explore here. Now the, the desired result of our demodulation process is to be able to detect whether or not the signal is a zero or a one. Again, one corresponding to these places where we have the carrier getting through. Now to do this, let's consider the notion of the envelope of this signal. The envelope would be this border that essentially just looks at the amplitude of the sinusoid when we are transmitting a 1. In order to extract only the envelope portion, which we observe is actually a square wave signal at a considerably lower frequency than the carrier frequency that we're using for the sinusoid, we can begin by forming either the absolute value or you could use a square law or squaring device for this purpose. What we do is take all of the negative going portions of the signal and flip those positive. So one thing we observe is that the carrier frequency, which uh, is defined as F sub C, actually shows up as twice that value in the absolute value signal. Again, because we flipped all the negative going portions of the wave positive. So these are now looking very similar to each other. The only thing remaining then would be to filter out that uh, 2FC component. And once we apply the low pass filter, we have then recovered the baseband signal that we're looking for. All you have to do is make sure that you match the bandwidth of the low pass filter to the bandwidth of your message signal.